Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hi, good evening. How are you good doing, evening. guys? Good evening. Good evening. Fernando, you have a new headset? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, I, I cut my hair. That is the difference between <laughs> the last day oh. that you, you watched me. Yeah, the last time I saw you, it's true. I was like, there's something different, but I couldn't tell what. Ah, uh, the, the headset is. It's, it's, it's the same headset. It's the same. Because it is, it is, it's the same. So, do you work for a call center? No, uh, I am a developer. I work for a, a different company. Oh, got it. And the headset, like, yeah, uh, I, I like, I like to. To buy uh, gaming, gaming stuff. So oh, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. I have a computer with. I, I play some video games on computer. I like the product that, for example, uh, that this this a uh, is a, a Razer headset. Okay, uh, okay. The keyboard is the same. I like. I like. It. And does it have like noise canceling? Yes, yes, but. Uh, uh, there are, are wireless. Is is this headset uh, is wireless? But uh, for example, I am using this headset in a in a Mac. So in a Mac, I can use the the wireless feature mm -hmm. or capability. I, I don't know how. The feature feature is okay. And it only works for uh, for Windows. Uh, oh, got it. So I'm asking you this because I'm thinking about buying a new headset. I bought this one. I don't know when it was, like 2020, and it has noise reduction. So here in the microphone, I have noise reduction. So when it's raining or some things like that, it ah, turns yes. the noise. Yes, that, that, that helps a lot, a lot because, for, uh, for example, uh, this only, you, you can uh, configure the, the sensibility of the, the mic. Mm -hmm. So the mic, uh, so. You can, uh, you can do that? Yes, yes, I can. I can change the colors. I can uh, uh, com configure the the, the sensibility, mm -hmm. uh, the, the the volume. The volume and and how much was it? Uh, well, I I bought this headset two years ago, and uh, that cost uh, two thousand dollars. Two hundred, sorry, two hundred. Two thousand was like what? Oh, two hundred. Two hundred dollars. No, two hundred dollars <laughs> two years I ago. But I bought this one. Is Logitech. And ah, Logitech is a is a, it's a great great brand. But it was good for about two years. But now I can see that you guys can listen to the noises. For example, when it was raining really hard, you couldn't hear me. So last time someone was watching editions and, and you could hear it. So I think the noise reduction is not working anymore. So I need to buy, buy a new one. So that's why I was asking you if you have like a prices and stuff like that, because I want to get a new headset. Uh, you can look for uh, another uh, Logitech. Logitech has uh, different categories and- I always uh, watch YouTube videos, like reviews uh, about the, these yes. things. And yeah, this one actually for what it is, it was fifty dollars. So yes, and and it was really good. Okay, well, thank you, Fernando. Thank you for telling me that, and I will consider to buy a new headset because I need it. Okay, thank you guys. Welcome to the class. Um, happy to have you here. I know it's Monday. We're in a Monday mood. I don't know why, but this Monday I was feeling a little bit down earlier in the school but right now i'm feeling good so let's get this class started and i'm gonna go with attendance okay the first one i have here is axel gabriel rivera rodriguez okay andres giovanni valdivieso portillo present teacher okay blanca stephanie navarro flores present David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. All right. 
Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Can you hear me well? I can hear you well. Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. It's Monday. It's taking a while to connect, right? Okay. Madeline Yamilet Molina Gonzalez. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Okay. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Well, we're going to wait. Well, we're not going to wait. We're just going to be here. If your classmates connect to the class, that's good. If they don't connect to the class, well, that's not so, not so good. But anyways. Okay, thank you guys for being here. I know it's Monday. It's taking a while to be there. Like, yeah, it's Monday. I want to be on the weekend already. But yeah, the weekend is going to come this fast, this fast, like December. You know, we're almost in the middle of the year. And that happened out of nowhere. I thought we were like just starting the year. It turns out that next month, in two days, it's going to be June. We're not going to be in the middle of the year, just like that. Time goes flying, and it goes flying even more when you're learning English. And sometimes it feels like a whole, like a whole journey and something that is taking a while. But when you get there, you're going to see it's not so much. Even for you, it's even less because you're only learning English. So it's going to take you, I don't know, how many years have you been studying English, guys? For example, let's see, Fatima, how many years have you been studying English for? I studied English a long time ago, ago like five years. And okay. now I'm just in uh, courses. Okay, just to keep it up? Just to practice. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Fatima. And let's see another person. For example, Vladimir. You there, Vladimir? Ready? He's not here. Okay. Uh, let's see, William. Well, I study English one year mm -hmm. at the university. Okay. And then practice. Then practice. Okay. And so how many years have you been studying like this, like online? Or how many months? Uh, from level one, basic. Really? Yeah. So since last year? Yeah. Okay, well, that, that's a progress. Excellent, William. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Thanks. Yes, I know. So you see, for me, it was different. For me, it was just like studying, I was studying English for about six years. But in my cases, I have to know the language and I have to know how to teach the language, which are two different things. So that's why it took me a while. But for you guys, it's going to be easy. So let's get to the topic. But before we get to the topic, I need you to speak because that's what advanced level is for, just to speak and to practice. So the first thing we're going to do is to break the ice doing an activity where you will have to speak. This activity will be about asking or talking about the past, but specifically this weekend. 
So we're gonna talk about the activities you did this weekend. And I want to hear, well, we're gonna go to the breakout rooms uh, for a little while, but I want to hear you speaking in the past because sometimes that's one of the main problems of many people when they get to the advanced level. They know the verbs in the past, but the pronunciation, it's not really clear. It's not really good. For example, if I said this, this weekend on Saturday, I worked. You see, I don't say I work it. And sometimes pe some people do that and they say I work it. But the correct way will say I worked, worked. The same thing if I said I listened some music. I said I listened. I don't say I listen it, okay? The thing is that some, do you know the key? When to add the T sound and the D sound at the end of a verb? Teacher, that that uh, is a, a, a as one I want to ask to you to teach us. I okay. I know that there is a, there are a three three types of offending, mm -hmm. depending of uh, about the letter or about the, the sound actually. Yes. Okay. Uh, what are of that three types? Okay, I can tell you that really quick. Okay, thank you, David, for asking. And yes, three types of pronunciation. The first type of pronunciation is where you pronounce the ed just like it is. For example, when you say wanted, needed, those two pronunciations, you say it like that. So every time that you have a t or a d at the end of the verb, you're going to pronounce it as it is wanted, needed because it ends with a T, it ends with a D. In those cases, you say it as it is. Then we have the other two pronunciations. And those, those two pronunciations, they actually have the list of letters. If they end in this letter or if they end in this letter, they are gonna have the T sound or the D sound. But in my case, and I don't know if that is gonna help you, my case, my personal case, it's better for me to understand about the sounds. So in English, we have two types of sound for this kind of verb. So we have the voiceless and the voiced. Okay, voiceless sound is the one that doesn't vibrate here in your vocal cords. And the voiced, it vibrates with just the sound, not the whole word. For example, when I say the word work, okay, work, work ends with a K, right? The sound of the letter K is If you touch, so sometimes what I do is I do this. So I touch here my vocal cords. And if you can do it, do it as well. You're, you're gonna see it. Okay, if you touch here and you say, K, K, do you think it vibrates? K, K. It doesn't vibrate. So in that case, when it doesn't vibrate, you're gonna add it at the end worked, worked, you see? Now, within another example is listen, listen. It ends with an N sound. So if you put again here and just do N, 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 N it vibrates, N, it vibrates, yes or no? N, Yes, yes, yes. So in that case, you're gonna end the pronunciation with that D sound, D, D. So work will be worked and listened like that. Listened, listened. Sometimes people don't say the D. Sometimes people will just say just listen, listened, listened, D, D at the end. Let's go with another one, travel. Travel. The last letter of travel is L. L. It vibrates or doesn't? Travel. No. No, no yes, yeah, but you have to say it like no. Yeah. You have to say L. Yes. Yes, vibrates. it vibrates. So the last letter will be T. T. Traveled. 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 Okay. okay, don't force it because it's not traveled. 
it's travel mm -hmm. the, 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 just you like your teeth like your tongue hitting your teeth it's traveled 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 worked worked traveled so that's actually the key to do a good pronunciation of their regular verbs because the regular verbs they are another story right like they have different spelling they have it's different see so um let's see another one read red it, it's different Okay, so what I want you to do is to go through breaker rooms and do a pronunciation practice with that. I need you to speak about your weekend and you're going to do the activity of like, how was your weekend? The other question can be, what did you do? For example, the first question to me is, how was your weekend? Well, my weekend was mm, busy. On Saturday, I went, well, I woke up at 7 a.m. I got ready to go to work. I went to work in San Salvador. I went to work there. I worked from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Then I went to buy some things at Pricemart. Then I drove to my house. I got to my house at around 9.30 p.m. because I didn't have to work on Sunday. So I didn't work on Sunday. And on Sunday, I went to Alegrías Town. I went there and I went with my husband and some friends we went to eat and then we went to have some desserts and coffee it was really good because it was raining and i love the rain you see that's what you're gonna do that's all i need you to do but with a good pronunciation and a good pronunciation of the verbs in the past you got it the first question, how was your weekend? It was good. It was bad. It was busy. It was complicated. It was stressful. You can say it was relaxing. You can say many things. Then what did you do? And then you describe what you did on Saturday. And then you describe what you did on Sunday. Is the act activity clear for you guys? Yep yes. Or no? Let me copy and paste the questions to the chat so you have them. Right there, you have it there. You got them, yeah? Perfect, let's go and practice. Remember, uh, you are advanced level. Try to speak as advanced level. Don't speak really basic, speak like advanced. Davis, Fatima.
Hello. So that was a speaking activity. Right now, I'm gonna go and ask you, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you, have you been working on the platform? Yes, teacher. What section are you on? Um, section number four. Four, okay. What about the other ones? Me only work for a day. I've seen 2.3, something like that, teacher. Okay, thank you, David. The other I, one? I, so in my, in my case, I am so close to finish. I am on the level four, 4.1. Okay. Okay. So maybe it's not level five, correct? Just four. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Mona. Appreciate it. Okay, but besides David, it's someone here, not in section three, but in section two still? Maybe. Blanca. Fatima. Okay. Yes, me too. Harvey. Okay, so the thing is, you already know maybe, we need to be on section three already. So you need to actually, let me see here. Yeah, you have to be in se on section three and you have to have completed the meter at the end of section two. So if you're not here, please, I will ask you to work on that because we need to be there. And I'm asking you this because the people at Invest Corporativo, they are gonna ask me, hey, why are not your students on section three already? Okay, so we need to do that. Anyways, um, just it's just Fatima, it's just Blanca, and it's just David. The other ones are in section three or four already. Yep. Yes. At the beginning of section three. What is it? At the beginning of section three. At the beginning of section three. Yeah, that's where we're supposed to be at this moment. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna get do some reading practice because I need you to read and to be really good at reading. Because reading in English is like reading in Spanish. We don't need to be like, me llamo Juan y vivo en. So we don't need to be like that. You need to be reading as you are speaking and you need to respect the punctuation marks. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna do a reading practice as well as a, wait a second, I'm gonna share. Okay, so we're gonna do a reading practice and then we're gonna answer these questions. But we have two type of text, okay? I'm gonna read it for you so you have my intonation and pronunciation. Remember in English is not only about pronunciation, it's about intonation as well. Because if it is a question, you need to do the intonation as in a question. If it is exclamation, you have to do the intonation as it is in exclamation, okay? So I'm gonna read it and then you're gonna have the time to do it as well. I ran into my uncle, Tim, last weekend. He's my mother's brother. I hadn't seen him for years, but he hadn't changed. He always had, has had white hair and a long white beard. Going white early has always been common in my mother's family. Uncle Tim has always been the historian of the family. He keeps a notebook full of family anecdotes. We went we went out for lunch and he interrogated me about recent events in the family and asked when it will be a good time to visit mother at home. We've planned a trip next weekend and I'll let you know about the results in my next entry. Mother usually has some interesting stories to tell. 
let's go. Well, this 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 other one it's a little bit complicated. Gene genealogy, genealogy. Let me look for that word. Genealogy or genealogy. Oops, 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 oops. G -ne -a -logy. Genealogy, I think it is like that. Genealogy. Genealogy, yes, I was right, but I just wanted to confirm. Genealogy is a popular hobby in the United States. It is estimated that over 40% of adults are interested in family history. Nowadays, actually records are available online. And this has led genealogy to be one of the most popular topics on the World Wide Web. Typing the word genealogy into a search engine shows over 28 million 700,000 results. If you're interested in genealogy, there are a lot of popular websites that can help get you started finding out about your family. For a small fee, you can have access to original documents and transcriptions from all over the world. Censuses, birth certificates, and property records are available at the click of your mouse. You see, like I was advertising something, like that was an ad. That's what you need to do, okay? So, do you need me? Do you need my my help with anything else, or you or you think you're good to go to read this? Or you need me to repeat a specific pronunciation, maybe, or something like that. Um, no, you don't need me to do it. Okay, perfect. Actually, these two are related. These two texts are related. Just one is about one specific thing and the other one it's like in general, but they are related. So when you finish reading that, we'll have to go over these questions and you have to answer this. For example, the first one says, where is text A? So meaning this one, probably from a blog, a newspaper, a reference book. What do you think the number one is about in text A? I think it's a blog teacher. Okay, maybe it's a blog because it's talking like it's talking to a person and blogs used to be popular a long time ago. And, it's and not because a newspaper. At, the, at, the, at the end of the, in the, in the text, in the text at the end uh, about the results in my next entry. Exactly, David, thank you very much. Yes, you have to look for keywords as well. Keywords are gonna tell you what the story is about or the context of it. Okay, again, this one, you can read it as a blog, as you're, if you're talking to a friend. And this one, you have to read it like it's an ad because it's an ad. Okay, so pronunciation and intonation should be different for every text. So take your time, take your time to participate. Everybody has to participate. And at the end, when you have finished, just complete these questions and we're gonna be good to go. Okay, let me do here an activity. And then we're gonna do a guide reading, okay? A reading, a guide reading is that we're gonna read together here as a group. And I want to hear your pronunciations as well. Is the activity clear for you? Yes, it is. Perfect. So we did a uh, conversation practice already. We are doing now reading practice, and then we're gonna go with some other activities. But so far, you need to, do think more things that I do, okay? Because it's advanced, that's what it advances for. Oh, and you can share the screen. So I sent you the link. Can you can you see in the chat? I don't know if you can see it. 
Oh, David needs to be in the same room. I forgot about it in the last one. Okay. Everything clear? Yep. Yes. Excellent. Good. Let's go. Kenya. Kenya, please join the breakout rooms.
Okay, are you practicing reading? Yeah, teacher. Yes, teacher. We was reading the the text A and the text B, and we already answered the questions. Okay, okay. Well, but if you can practice it, it's never enough. Okay. 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 Okay, in this case, what to read very well the text B, just to recognize if it is a magazine or advertisement. So in this case, um, just to read one more time. Um, one of the most popular topic on the world, white web topic in the world, in a, in a, Genealogy into search engines shows over the 28,700 results. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a uh, 28 billion seven seven hundred thousand results. If you are interested in genealogy, there are a lot of popular websites that can help get you started at home we planned a treat next weekend i will let you know about the results in my next entry my mother usually has some interesting stories to tell
Okay, so I'm gonna go with attendance, but once I finish the attendance, I'm gonna go with the reading guide. Cause when I went to the break rooms, I heard you like you already practiced. So I'm guessing if I ask you right now to do the pronunciation of every single reading, you're gonna be perfect at it because you told me, hey teacher, we finished, we did it, we did a good job, so we don't need to do it again. So I'm gonna see that right now. Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodriguez. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. Señor teacher. Mm, Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. I am here. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. So we're missing only one, two, three, four participants. We're missing four participants. Okay. Well, when I went to the breaker rooms, I heard silence and everyone was like, most of the breaker rooms were like really quiet. So that's why I decided to bring you back here because I was like, okay, so they finished practicing. Uh, I suppose that I ask you to read the text right now. You're going to be perfect at it. Just to remind you that practicing doesn't mean that I'm gonna do an activity once and just once. You can do the activity as many times as you consider for it to be perfect for you. Remember you're practicing your pronunciation. Even me, I think that sometimes I need to practice my pronunciation because I consider I cannot pronounce all the words. I cannot say all the words in English. Like in Spanish, sometimes I don't know some words. So the same happens to me in English. So I need to practice as many times as, as, as I can. So I'm guessing that's what you did. And we're gonna do the reading, the guide reading in this moment, and you're gonna be really good. Okay, let's see. Let's start with Jocelyn Rivas. You're gonna read from here till, wait, wait a second. From here to here. Okay, teacher, text A. I ran into my uncle Tim last weekend. He is my mother's brother. I haven't seen him for for years, but he haven't changed. He always has had white hair and long white beard. Okay. William, will you please continue till here? Okay. Going white early has always been common in my mother's family. Uncle Tim has always been the historian of the family. Manuel, thank you. Manuel, will you continue till here? Okay. Um, he keeps a notebook full of family anecdotes. We went out for lunch and they interrogated meet about recent events in the family and ask when it would be a all good time to visit mothers at the home. Thank you very much, Manuel. Let's continue with Edwin. Oh, Edwin, your microphone is off. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh -huh. We planned it. 
I think next weekend, and I tell it you now about the result in my next entry. Mother usually has some interesting stories to tell. Thank you, Erwin. Doris, please read from here to here. Uh, one moment. I. It's genealogy. Yes. Gen text B. Genealogy. Gen Genealogy is a popular hobby in the United States. It is estimated that over 40% of adults are interested in family history. Thank you very much. Let's continue with Madeline. Still here. And nowadays, actual records are available online, and this has led genealogy to be one of the most popular topics on the World Wide Web. Thank you very much. Would you please continue reading Fatima from here till here? Typing the word genealogy into a search engine shows over 28 million. 700,000 results. Thank you very much. Harvey. If, if you are interested in genealogy, there are a lot of popular websites that can help get your start fight out about your family. Thank you very much. Let's see Kenya. For a small fee, you can have access to original documents and transcriptions from all over the world and sources. Okay, thank you. That was a good pronunciation there. Jocelyn. Tell me. Oh, wait a second. What always happen? My goodness. Okay, sorry. From here to here. From, from where? Sorry. Bird. Okay. Mouse. To the end. Okay. Birth certificates and property records are available at the click of your mouse. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. Sometimes some pronunciations are not the best of them, but you need to practice. Okay. That's what it is about. You need to practice and practice and practice and practice as much as you can. Now, we're going to go with a new tongue twister to improve pronunciation. I know that last one we learned was very but a bit of part, right? So we're going to learn a new one today. But before we go to that, I need to see who's going to stay with me at the end of the class. So the last person to stay was Manuel. Am I right, Manuel? Right, it was you. Okay. Correct. So today, let me see. Well, Marlon is not here today. Would you like to go today, Thelma? Yeah. Okay, the last 10 minutes. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so the, spur, the the tongue twister we're gonna learn today it's a uh, it's it <laughs> it achieves the purpose to twist your tongue. It's about shells. You know what is a shell? What is a shell? No, it's a uh, in the sea the la concha. Exactly, that's what it is, that's what it is. Do you remember the gas station called Shell? Yes. Exactly, so that's where it gets it from. So the tongue twister we're gonna do today, which sometimes I consider one of the challenging tongue twisters for me to learn, but I'm guessing it's gonna be easy for you. It is 
she sells seashells by the seashore, the she seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. It hurts. It hurts this part of your mouth. So that's what they want who are going to be practicing today. It hurts for me. Maybe you're a pro. Maybe, maybe, maybe you are better than me at, that, at those pronunciations. It can happen, even though I'm the teacher, but that's, that's hard for me to pronounce. That ha that's hard for me to say it. it for, like, even say it, it's really hard for me. So I'm going to go one more time, and then I'm going to show you. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. That's it, okay? I wanna show you. Uh, let me see. It's here, okay, got it. Okay, this is the one. So it's, as you see, as, as you see, it's she, Sells. So the purpose of this song is to make is to make you like to confuse you, because in this case it's she and here it's sh, 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 sh. those are the sounds we're gonna go with. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells. I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay, one more time. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. It's interesting because I'm looking at you at the same time that I'm doing this, I'm looking at you. It seems like you already know this song Twister because you're not practicing. You're like just looking at me, okay? Like, yeah, teacher, go ahead. <laughs> you're doing a good job. <laughs> like you're the teacher and I'm doing here <laughs> like the job. <laughs> no, it's you the ones that have to practice, okay? <laughs> okay, let's go one more time. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells, by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. And you know, this tongue twister, specifically this tongue twister, is gonna help you to sound more like a, how can I say this? With a native accent, okay? It's gonna help you because you, you see, when they speak in Spanish, they have that strong accent and they are like, something like that, right? So this tongue twister actually is going to help you to place your mouth the way they do. So if you see where like, she sells seashells by the seashore. So we sound really, really good when we say it correctly. If we say it like, and not in a correct way, it's not that good. But if you try to say it word, by word, it's gonna help you. And actually, just by saying it right now, it hurts this part and this part. If it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. Like remember, like in the gym, no pain, no gain. So if there's no pain, you're not doing it good, okay? So again, you have to do the correct pronunciation of the S H sound, which is ch, and then you have to do, to do the correct pronunciation of the letter S. But for example, in this word right here is sure. I'm not sure. You see, it's not, I'm not sure. It's not sure, it's sure, right? So that's gonna make you confused sometimes. But that's the purpose of the tongue twister. Okay, take a screenshot if you can. And let's go and practice. Remember guys, this is for you to practice. It's for me to practice as well, but it's more for you to practice. The more you do it, 
the better it is with, it's gonna be, okay? Because your pronunciation is the one that it's gonna improve. Mine, it's gonna keep on going, but yours, it's gonna improve. You got it? Okay. Sometimes mm -hmm. I think some of you are paying attention to me and sometimes I feel like I'm alone. It's sad. Yes. Excellent, thank you very much. That's it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, oh, you're on mute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm guessing. But sometimes I look at your faces, and sometimes your face is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, teachers. Sometimes I tell jokes, and I'm like, am I not funny, or what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> because you're like, yeah, teacher. <laughs> so it's, it's, it makes me sad. for having the camera because I have really bad. In the yeah, you told me uh, in, yeah. on WhatsApp chat. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But thank you for letting me know. Okay, Freddy? Okay. Okay, let's go and practice. This is your time to shine.
find the suture, the shells. She sells her shells, I am sure. So if she sells the shell by the suture, then I am sure she sells suture shells. Okay, Madeline, your turn. She sells seashells by the seashore, by the seashore. The seashells, she sells her seashells on shore. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. She, sell, she sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells, she sells her seashells on shore. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So Who is next? You. Oh, okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Excellent. Jarvi? Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashell, I am sure. So if she sells seashell by the seashore, then I am sure she sells seashore shell. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. She sells a seashell by the seashore. The seashell she sells are seashell, I'm sure. So if she sells um, seashell by the uh, seashore, then I'm sure the sells uh, seashore shells. Okay, good job, guys. But only to make it a little bit harder, Maybe you can start saying it three times in a row or twice. So it gets a little bit more, you know, challenging. Okay, All correct. Okay, perfect. I'm going to try it twice in this time. Um, she sells uh, seed shells by the seed shore. The seed shell, she sells by the seed shore. <laughs> I'm sure she sells seashore shells. What happens if she sells shrimps instead of seashell? <laughs> yes. Let me try again. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells. Mm -hmm. I'm sure so. If she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Seashell by the seashore. The seashell she sells or she sells, sh I'm sure. So if she sells seashell by the seashore, then I'm sure sh she sells seashore shells. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashell, uh, she sells our seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay, now Erwin. Okay, 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 okay. okay. She sells seashells. She sells seashells by the seashore. She, the seashells, she sells the seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashells shells. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> she sells seashells by the seashore. The seashore.
Okay, how are you feeling after the training session? How is it? How is the tongue? How are the muscles of your mouth? I guess it was typical in this time. And the seashell, seashore. So we had to just to try yeah, to was... pronounce and not lose the, the pronunciation because it's together. Seashell, seashore is like confusing. Yeah, I know. Just it's trying to say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But do you feel like it's helping you somehow or not? Yes. Sometimes it's going to be more difficult for some people and it's going to be easier for some other people. It's like that. It's just like that. Sometimes for me, sometimes twisters are really easy. And then people say, like, but for me, it's really difficult. But I don't know why. Of all the tongue twisters, that that one is one of the ones that I found the most difficult ones. Because very but a bit of butter, it was not difficult. It was like really easy and it has rhythm, so it's like you're singing. But this seashells, she sells seashells by the seashore, it's kind of difficult. So, but if you say it a lot, it's gonna help you. So here's my question. Have you practiced the tongue twisters that I have provided? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm looking at lo some people saying yes. Okay. I'm asking you this because nothing is going to happen if I assign a tongue twister and just show you how to do it. And you do it here in a class for a while, but then you go live your life and don't practice. So nothing is going to happen. happen. It's not going to be magic because it's not like that. It's, it is just not like that. Okay, so let's go back here and we're gonna do an activity about something that you have to do tomorrow, okay? So don't tell me you're not gonna come to classes tomorrow because you need to come to classes tomorrow. We're gonna do this activity. This is a group work. Remember these past days we have been talking about millennials. So we're gonna do a group work in this moment. We're gonna design an infographic featuring some of the following. So you need to do something like this, okay? Like a mental map or something. So millennials at the workplace. And you're gonna add four categories. The first one is you're gonna add three advantages millennials bring to the workplace. You have to think about them, three advantages. Yet now you have to think about three characteristics worth considering to lead millennials effectively. Effectively. So what characteristics, characteristics do you consider a leader or a boss should have in order to lead, lead millennials? Then we need to talk, think about three tips to bring the best out of millennials at the workplace. Then, three stereotypes about millennials. So you have to think about this one, two, three, four parts. And you have to tell me what are the three advantages, the three characteristics, the three tips, and the three stereotypes. But the, as this is a group work, we're gonna do it like a presentation. You will have to create a PPT or whatever that is gonna help you do it. And then you're, we're going to do the presentation on Tuesday, like tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to do the presentation tomorrow. I'm going to assign the groups, and the groups that I assign you with are the groups that you're going to do the presentation tomorrow with. Okay, again, you need to do something like this, okay? You say share your presentation with the class. So we're going to do it because it's here. It's in the manual. So again, you're gonna do something like this. Millennials at the workplace. You're gonna talk about the advantages, the important characteristics to consider to lead them, tips to manage them, and stereotypes. Three of each one of this. Each group is gonna have different uh, parts, or maybe they are gonna have some of the same statements that are gonna be similar. But I need you to do the infographic, which is this, and then to present it on Tuesday. So I'm gonna give you, it, it won't take you a long time. So I'm gonna give you like 10 minutes 
to do this activity. And then we're gonna go. Is the activity clear for you? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So again, this is a presentation. It's a must, you see. It's in the manual. It's not something that I'm just making up in this moment. It's there. So we need to do it because we need to be working with the manual. Sometimes, right? No, not all the most of the time. I don't like to work with it, but sometimes it, yes. Okay, let's see. We're gonna do groups in this moment. <laughs> No, I got a mistake here. This group, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. David needs to be in the same group. Okay, let me see if I like it. like that. I think it's good. Okay, you need to work on the presentation and then tomorrow we're going to do the presentation. To the people that haven't come today to the class, we're going to see what we do with them. But this is a presentation. You should, you must, no, you should, you must do. It's on page 26. The manual, page 26. Let's go. It's there, join, hello, hi. Join.
Hello. So I'm just gonna Hello. check. I'm just gonna check with the ones that are. Well, if you didn't finish, please try to complete it. Just like the infographic thing, and we're gonna do the presentations tomorrow. Okay. Uh, but not only reading in the presentation, give your personal opinion maybe, or based on something that you have read, give the opinion. Okay, I'm gonna go only with the people that I haven't mentioned. Well, I haven't seen in the class. This word, 20 minutes. So Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodriguez is not here. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez is not here. Marlon Stanley Ramirez Reyes is not here. And Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz is not here. I'm going to leave it there because I already placed your um, attendance through the breakout rooms. But I'm gonna, we're going to leave it there and I'm going to stay with Delma Clotilde, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. guys, I will see you okay. tomorrow. Be ready for the presentation. Bye. 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 Have Bye. a great night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Okay, Telma, how are you? Uh, actually, fine. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. So, and how was work today? Was good? Mm, it's so tired, teacher. What is your job? Uh, I'm accountant. accountant but, yes, but uh, I have to work all my boss in all the areas. Is oh. it's saying to say uh, I have two assistants, the general accountant, the general manager, the general administration, the general sales boss, and so the branches. So, so you have to do many, many things, yes, all day. Okay, I did. And, and where do you uh, work? In Optical La Jolla. Oh, yeah, it's true, you told me. Yeah. Okay. In, Al in, in Alameda Roosevelt. Oh, okay, got it. Downtown. Well, yeah. but uh, what time do you get off work? Time in hours, my schedule? No, my schedule? Schedule? yeah, well, what time do you finish? Uh, in hours? Yeah, like, uh, for example, I finish working at 10. PM. <laughs> so, what time do you finish work? <laughs> no, no. Uh, well, I start my my job at eight thirty a.m. to five thirty p.m. But uh, I return uh, back my home at uh, eight eight fifteen. 50, eight past 50 minutes. Okay, maybe because of the traffic or why? Why? Yes, for the traffic and uh, it's all day I, I had to stay for half hour past 5.30 p.m. for uh, check my and my next agenda for the, oh, for the agenda for the next yeah. day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. Okay. Well, that's job, right? That's the work we do. Okay. Um, Thelma, do you have anything you want to ask me related to classes? With your classes? No. Uh, this 10 minutes that we're already ahead of time with it. It's for you to ask me anything that you have doubts about it, or if you want to ask me, ask me something related to the class. Well, um, before uh, in the, uh, the when I started level, 
I have some problem because I don't understand the teacher. Okay. But actually is uh, uh, I feel I feel fine with you. Um, I am um, accommodate or I feel fine with you. You feel fine right now? Yeah. Okay, okay, I get it. So you have understood all the topics we have been talking in the class? Yes, I, under I understand. Okay. Your, your uh, uh, when you speak as bad, uh, my, my problem is, is I can, I can speak freely, freely. Really, <laughs> this is this is my, yes, this is my problem, and um, and my thing uh, in my mind, oh my God, it's excellent. But uh, when I, uh, when I, I explain, I have to speak. What is uh, what is my idea? I can speak. Uh, suddenly, I, I I I can I can speak. I don't know what is, is it probably in my mind. <laughs> Actually, it's something very common because you're used to listening more than speaking. So that's why listening it's good, but speaking it's a problem. And maybe yeah. another problem is you're translating in your mind everything. Yes, because I think in Spanish always this is the problem about me and uh, uh, when when you uh, when you separate in groups uh, with my partner is uh, sometimes no I don't I don't speak and in the moment when you when when we is, we we are in uh, in a group and that's the time when you have to speak because that's the conversation practice right because here when i'm speaking and speaking and speaking you're only listening so when i send you to the record rooms it's because i want you to practice and to speak in English because then I don't have to speak you guys have to speak so maybe take advantage of those times when I send you to practice even though if you make mistakes that's okay making mistake is making mistakes is the first step to learn in a second language okay so because yeah like when we were little we didn't say the words correctly we didn't say quiero pacha we only say ba 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 or something we cried maybe but we communicated the idea. That's the same with English. With English, you need to communicate. <coughs> I'm sorry, the idea. But don't. I I think that you're doing good, but you need to practice more speaking. But you can understand perfectly, so I don't think you're doing anything wrong. Yes. Uh, well, I uh, I think that uh, my problem is is uh, actually I learned to language every um, every day every day yeah during my lunch I practice uh, Italian language for half hour mm -hmm. and at night is the English language and so you're processing a lot of information. Yes, and the moment to translate in my mind, I uh, suddenly I um I think in uh, I think in uh, Italian language, and in a short moment, I think I had to change um, the 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 word uh, when you. When when I when when I uh, I I speak, mm -hmm. 
the idea. It's okay. It's okay. But what you need, as I'm telling you right now, for example, you're now, you're right now, we're trying to think and you're making it, right? But you only have to speak. Speak as much as you can. Speak with yourself, okay? Speak with yourself. Tell yourself things in English, in your mind. Think in English. Think about the things. So your thoughts, translate them into English. And you're going to see it's going to get easier. Me, for example, me, when I was starting the career, I was not good in English. Actually, two years, two years studying in the in, my, in the college, and I wasn't good at English. I wasn't good at all. Mm -mm, nothing. <laughs> Maybe by the fourth year, that's when I started getting better. And then when I had the opportunity to go to the United States, because I was supposed to speak English, even if I wanted or not, I needed to communicate my, my idea. Uh, well, but uh, but I don't know what is the 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 level when when I I can speak fluently. I don't know because uh, because uh, I every every day I sing singing a song in English. I listen the news. Um, meanwhile, working, but but during the class, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, Thelma. Don't worry. You just have to practice, and it's the same with me. For example, when I speak to my students, I feel very confident with my English, but when I have to speak to native people, like Native American people. That's hard for me because I'm like, are they going to think my pronunciation is good or is not? What are they thinking? Am I saying this right? So it's common. It's not something that only happens to you. It happens to everybody. But everybody, it's in different levels. So I had classmates that were really good at English by the second year of college, and I was not. So, but it only was a matter of time, time and practice, okay? Well, well. <laughs> okay. I will try. <laughs> okay, then it was my pleasure being with you, but it's already time to sleep and I, you see I'm tired and I need to go to work early tomorrow and I'm guessing you have to go to work early tomorrow as well. Okay, my pleasure. Okay. <laughs> have a good bye. night. Bye-bye. Good night. Keep practicing Italian and English, okay? Yes, yes, I try. <laughs> bye. Bye.